Alrighty, this episode there is no turning on the lights, turning on the converter, turning on the fan. I'm about eight hours into this little project. I forgot my hat. What I am doing right now is installing the trailer hitch light connectors for the car and uh, I've been unsuccessful so far until now that's why I am filming as you can see I got lights in there I got drills sockets I got my uh, trunk pretty much out and sitting on the floor right here but yeah it's been it's been a mess and it is extremely humid outside I'm sticky I got the fan blowing on me now and it's uh yeah, it was not a good day today. That's better. All right, so I'm going to take you in there and uh, do what I'm doing. I'm hoping that I'm successful at this uh, endeavor today. Yeah, it's not been fun. It was so bad today. For the first time ever, I'm using the hybrid part of a fan. Got this at full blast. That circulation feels good. I'm using the Ryubi light to see what I'm doing. I think I put my drill over there. But yes. Oh, I think this one's ready to be plugged back in. Now, if I did this right, this turn signal will still work. Perfect. Alrighty, it is the next morning, and I uh, just tested it out on the trailer. <clears throat> the I got the lights working, so now I have to put this back together, which we're just going to do a speed frame for this. All right, my love, I'll put it. I'll put it in the fridge for you, though. Perfect. There we go. That all looks good. I love Ryobi. Seriously, Ryobi is awesome. Hoping that that doesn't stir up a problem. Oh, a different size. That goes in like normal. Oh. Throw that in there. Alright, so the last thing I need to do is tighten up a few bolts on the trailer. And we're going to do that right now. That's 
not good. I don't want to break it. Just going to do it by hand, I guess. I think they're good. Yeah, that's not the right bit. I don't have the right size. So, since that's done and out of the way, I figured might as well vacuum the car really quick. So now, now that the car is cleaned and uh, I tested out the lights, I want to uh, for the trailer. I want to test out the lights for the trailer one more time. Since it's fully connected, I want to I want to see just just in case. So let's do that. There we go. If one works. Excellent. If one works, they all still work. Fantastic. I love it. I'm glad I figured that out. It is seriously, seriously hot. I'm not talking to you, Siri. Should I mow the grass? I'm thinking if I should or if I shouldn't. Alrighty, so since all of that, since all of that is now done, all that's left is to uh, install the trailer hitch onto my car, which that's arriving tomorrow, I think, which would be the 28th, uh, which is a Friday. So, uh, it's been a struggle. I'm not going to lie. Doing all this stuff has been a struggle. It's, uh, at times it's not fun, but most of the stuff that I'm doing, I only have to do it once. Uh, for at least quite a few years. So, it's like, it's not like I have to install the trailer hitch every time I go out. So, but this thing, this, uh, I will be doing a review on this. This, I love this buffer. There's no reason for the angle grinder buffer. This, with the right buffing pads, which I got more, uh, they it did the trick. This uh, this thing is awesome. I'm glad, and it's just the way that it sits. It's uh, the way you hold it and how it works while you hold it. it I'm gonna do a review on this soon. I will be making another uh, YouTube channel. I'm making it today. But when it comes to the boat, the last thing I got to install is this. Uh, my father-in-law uh, made this for me. Uh, this is actually a perfect fit, and it goes on top of the boat cover. Uh, of course, a lot of the times Ryobi products will be on the boat, so because it's, it's it's my thing. So yes, or should I call it Ryobi boating? Because they do make Ryobi fishing lures, uh, fishing rods, no lures, yeah. They do make Ryobi fishing lures, which I, I, I am going to get one. So, you know what? Yeah, because I got to stick with what I do. I'm going to call it Ryobi boating. Oh, uh, anything else? Oh, yeah, I just want to clean this really quick. Uh, but I, I love my Ryobi products. I really do. These things are save me so much time and effort and on everything that I do. I mean, even cleaning, uh, you know, you could use these tools for besides what they're designed for. I like, I, I like that. One thing I am going to test out, I'm going to see if you could play video games on this inverter. All just, just by itself. No uh, outlets, no nothing. 
see if it'll power up a gaming system and a small TV. There, there's so many videos coming, I can't even ex ex I can't even explain. I've just been so tied up with getting this done because it's summer now and I, I have to get this done so we could go out and use it to make it worth the money that we spent for it. So, but yeah, the, this like I said, this channel is not going anywhere. Uh, there will be more raffles in the future and uh, everything's going to be good. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel and watching my videos. And uh, I know they're dumb, but uh, if you guys want to just see Ryobi tools in action, check out all my videos. I have, this video will be 109 or 110. I have to look at my uh, my records. But, uh, but yeah, if you want to just see Ryobi tools in action, this is it. I was going to mow the lawn today in the backyard, but I'm, I'm tired. It's hot. I got to get ready for work in a few hours, so I'm just going to just gonna chill with my dog for a little while but that's pretty much it for this episode uh this is dave nicholas thank you for tuning in and i'll see you guys next time